Okay, today we are going to grow watermelons in my trash bin. So these are watermelons I harvested from uh, my hydroponic system. And so I'll, I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see exactly what uh, how I grew these. Uh, these are quite sweet, but I waited a bit too long to uh, harvest these. So it, well, it got a little bit soft, but it's super, super sweet. So anyway, I have a bunch of seeds here that I'm going to take out and then grow into the trash system the trash bin and the reason for that is i could remove uh, or move around the trash bin so they can go around the uh, the backyard where you know it's most optimal with lights and all that stuff with the sun and uh so uh let's go outside and put this inside soil okay here is the original vines that we uh, that i kept i haven't cleaned it up yet that's the system right there and let's see the root ball see there it is right there okay so the system I'm going to use to grow the new watermelon is going to be this here uh, I may move the pepper plant out once the the seed sprouted and so um, we'll, we'll we'll check it out once the, once they sprout and see what happens so let me put these in soil so all I'm gonna do is to put one seed like that and then, and then uh, I'm gonna dig the soil and put the seeds in so there's a seed right there so just make sure the seeds under like that here's another seed and that's it so I'll give it some water and then we'll wait till it sprout and then I'll come back and show you <laughs> okay it has been 46 days now and my watermelon is doing great I was gonna do a uh, more frequent update but I forgot and so now the the vines are grown everywhere so I had a few uh, sprouted and I had to remove some because um, there were just so many so I just removed one yesterday right here and uh, now I have I think two or three vines left let's see one two and three I may just remove this one because it's the the weakest one and uh, just let these two grow and then because I'm growing it in the the trash bin with the wheel I'm gonna move it over here because there's the Sun right there and so this area is not getting as much Sun and so that's one advantage of growing uh, in these portable systems because you can just move it all over the yard because uh, this time of the year the the sun kind of like shines on different part of the yard more and watermelon does uh, need more sun so i will be moving this and i think there is already a fruit starting to form so let's let's take a look i think i saw it yesterday there it is right here you see there's a small fruit right there and i think there was there, there should be more pretty soon and so uh, we'll just have to check back oh there's a baby one right there okay so uh we'll check back and uh see what happens in maybe a month or so okay we are now on day 76 and i moved the watermelon again because this is the spot where it gets the most light so this time of the year the other spot that we had it um was limited with sunlight so i just rolled it up and moved it over here and this is where it gets the most sunlight all day long and look at this guys we have watermelon look at that and so it, it gets bigger every day these these guys once they start to um to develop uh, you can come out each day and you will see it grow it's pretty cool and then the other vine started to develop a new one here and I think we have a few more there's more right here and so uh, when you have multiple watermelons on the same vine uh, usually I'll just cut one off and allow the biggest to grow because if they have multiple ones on the same vine and the vine is not very big they don't grow very big at all so if you get if you have too many uh, you're gonna have to cut off one you know and just leave this one here and uh, since it's on the grass you can have like a, a mesh bag and protect it that way the animals don't get it so I usually wrap this up and just let it grow but uh, yeah this is it so um, growing in a trash bin with wheels are you know it's pretty cool because you can just wheel it up and move it around 
and it's pretty easy too because the trash bin is pretty big and so there's a lot of soil in there and uh, there's you know I don't have to worry too much uh, with the watering and all that so I water it very little uh, the rain did the watering for me this week and um, yeah so try try out this method it's pretty cool I grew peppers in here uh, I grew a few radishes in here and now watermelon so next year I'll probably put um, a bunch of different fruits in here and see how it works so that's it thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe